feel better. Thank you. I'm a little bit calmer now. And I just, I want to explain myself a little bit, because I don't want you to think badly of me, like, oh, this ungrateful wretch that she doesn't want to get from God, what's wrong with her kind of thing. But, you know, you think about that scripture in Corinthians where it says, gifts of prophecy and miracles and that kind of stuff, and it's a little intimidating because there's a lot of responsibility with that. Yeah. But uh, I just think he gives you what you're supposed to get. I think he makes us all perfect the way we are. And the thing is that we can't hide the light under a bushel basket. These are fifth states counting on us to use. Well, I think sometimes, too, when, when we hear things like prophecy and miracles, everyone says, oh, well, that doesn't relate to me. I can't do that. Maybe God didn't give me any gifts. But no, I mean, uh, everybody in the joint has a gift. Your smile right there. <laughs> got me excited, and um, you you worked in a museum. You probably learned a lot from doing that. That was a gift to you. It, it, it explored, it brought out certain gifts, and I just think everybody gets them, and we just have to find them and use them. A lot of us are not using them. Okay, I think, I think I'm about ready. If you could give me maybe a sign that will strengthen me so that I can open this box okay. and see what's inside. Okay. The world tells us to live like a king with a boat and a third car and a vacation house. Maybe there's a different way to live like a king. My thirst for the fans of the sun is a Oh. 
you were playing that, it, it made me think 